And today, 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 yes, today something will be solved. Because today's Friday is the 13th in a row. And I'm getting closer to Gabriel, Empress of Heaven. Here I'm not even lonely anymore. I already feel understood. I have been understood for 12 weeks. Everything that is past is past. I remember when I was 20, then I was impossibly lonely. My birthday was sad too. Yura Petrovsky came to me and uh, Nina Vasileska came. You know, they bought me a bottle of Stolichna and a jar of cabbage sarma. So lonely. I felt so impossibly lonely from those sarmas, from that bottle of Stolichnaya. Without wanting to, I cried. And when I turned 30, the day was as sad as the 20th birthday. Um, Borka came to me with a half crazy poetess and Varya came and Emilia and uh, Leon and Voidan. They bought me, what did they bring me? Two bottles of Stolichna and two jars of canned tomatoes. Such despair. Such trouble overcame me from those tomatoes that I, I wanted to cry. But I no longer could. Does that mean that I became less lonely in 10 years? No, it doesn't mean. Does that mean that my soul has become rougher and that my heart became cruel? It also doesn't mean. It is even the opposite, but still I did not cry. No, I did not become less lonely in my 30s, nor did my heart become hardened. Quite the opposite. No. No, now is the time to live and live. Life is not boring at all. Only, only Nikolai Gogol and, and Tsar Solomon were bored with life. You have already lived 30 years, we should try to live another 30. Yes. Yes. Man is mortal. That's my opinion. <laughs> but as soon as we are born, there is some, there is nothing to do. We have to live a little longer. Life is beautiful. That's also my opinion. Yet there are so many secrets in the world. What an abyss of unexplored things and what a space for those attracted to those secrets. For example, yesterday you drank, let's say, 750. And in the morning you don't have the ability to recover. You need to go to work and yada yada. You can take a drink in the afternoon and after you've labored for six or seven hours, and after you've been drinking to make it easy on your soul, you end up wondering why it's not easier on your soul. Why? Because man became a victim of his six or seven working hours. You need to be able to choose a job. There is no bad job. There are no bad professions. Every calling should be respected. You should drink something right after waking up. No, I'm not lying. Not something, but the same thing you drank yesterday.
how many secrets nature has, fatal and joyful. And that dumb youth that is coming and trying to change us as if they do not even notice the secrets of being. Oh, they lack open-mindedness and initiative, and I doubt that they have anything in their heads at all. You know, can something be more noble than experimenting on yourself? And what do I do? Thursday night, I drink three and a half liters of beer with vodka. I drink and I go to bed with clothes on, with the only thought in my head. Will I wake up on Friday morning or not? There are so many secrets in the world. What an abyss of unexplored things. And what a space for those attracted to those secrets. There are so many secrets in this world. What an abyss of unexplored things. What a space for those attracted to those secrets. Drink more and eat less. It is the best remedy against self-esteem and superficial egoism. Because he is good. I myself am bright and good. He leads me from suffering to light. From Skopje to Gabrovo. the torments of Sveti Nikola, through purification in Shtip, to the thunder of Strumica, towards the light, and towards Kavrovo. What should I drink in your name? I have nothing worthy of you. The Cuban is such rubbish. And the Russian? In your presence it's ridiculous to even speak about the Russian. And, and sweet red wine for 37 rubles, huh? God, no! Now if I get to Gabro today, Unharmed. I will create a cocktail that can that can drink me without biting my conscience. In the presence of man and God. In the presence of men and in the name of God. 
I will call him the star of Bethlehem. However, I have such rich experience in creating cocktails. Because to drink plain vodka even from a bottle, there is no women there. Mix vodka with cologne, there is a whim, there is no pathos. But to drink a glass of Canaanite bomb cocktail, oh, in it there is a whim, and an idea, and a pathos, and there's even an allusion to metaphysics. So before you is the Canaanite Balm cocktail, popularly known as Dark Brown Fox. A really dark liquid with, with pronounced aroma, but, but it is no longer an aroma but an anathem. An anathem of the democratic youth. Exactly so, because in the one who drinks it, it awakens vulgarity and dark forces. Oh. How many times have I seen that thing? But there are two means to prevent the maturation of those dark forces. First of all, do not drink Canaanite Balm cocktail. Drink the Geneva Spirit in cocktail instead. Because the lilac, as a basic ingredient of the Geneva Spirit, calms the mind and reconciles man with the misfortunes of That is why Lilac should not be placed with anything. Nor with Jasmine, nor with Chypre, nor with Lily of the Valley. Because something like this happened to me once. I took a whole bottle of silver Lily of the Valley. I sit. I cry. Why am I crying? It's because I remembered my mother. That, that is, I remembered that I could not forget about my mother. Mom? I say and I cry and then again, Mom? I say and I cry and someone who is stupider than me, they would probably sit like that and cry and me? I took a bottle of lilac and drank it. <laughs> and what do you think? The tears dried up, the foolish laughter stopped. And then I forgot my mother so much that I don't even know what was her name. Therefore, how ridiculous is the one who is preparing the spirit of Geneva and adds silver lily of the valley. But if one does want to trample on the order of the world, let them follow the pigs together with the Canaanite bomb cocktail and the spirit of Geneva. It is better to sit at the table and prepare the tear of Komsomol instead. This cocktail is fragrant and strange. Why it is fragrant, I will tell you later. At the beginning, I will explain to you why it is strange. He who drinks only vodka keeps his sanity and good memory, or vice versa. Suddenly, loses both. <laughs> you know, the case of the tear of Komsomol is very funny. drink a hundred deciliter from her, from that, that tear, and the memory is firm, but common sense does not exist. And then you will drink another hundred deciliter, and then you wonder to yourself, oh, where does all the common sense come from? And where did all the memory disappear? Even the recipe itself.
itself is aromatic, from the finished cocktail, from its aroma. You can deprive yourself of feelings and consciousness for a moment. I, for example, deprive myself. But enough about the deer. Now I offer you the last and the best. The masterpiece that surpasses all words, as the poet said. I offer you the dog's guts cocktail. I drink so powerfully it overshadows everyone else in the world. It's not a potion. It is music. So, the cocktail is set on the table. Drink it with the appearance of the first star with large, large sips. And already, after two glasses of this cocktail, a person becomes so spiritual that he can be approached and spat in the face for half an hour and he will say nothing. Did you manage to write at least something? Anyway, it is enough for you now. And when I get to Gabrova, I believe that I will share the secret of the Jordanian current cocktail. If I get alive and if God is merciful, of course. <laughs>